Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at TouchFlow 3D 2.5 build 1920. This is the version of TouchFlow 3D that will be on the HTC HD2, which is the first Windows mobile device to have a capacitive display. The changes in 1920 may have actually been present in 1919 when we did the video, but we just didn't notice certain things. So let's take a look at some new things that you may have not have seen yet if you follow us on YouTube. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the weather demo. So if we tap on this item here, we get to see all these beautiful animations that you get now on the home screen. It says drag up or down to preview the weather condition. So here is showers. And it's a little bit laggy on the 528 megahertz processor on the AT&T Tilt 2, but imagine it being much, much faster on a Snapdragon 1 gigahertz processor on the HTC HD 2. So we can continue to flick through and see all of the different eight animations that you can get on your main screen that fill up the whole screen. This one's pretty cool, the, uh, the windy animation. And here's six, partly cloudy with thunder, cold, snowy, and finally, thunderstorms. Now what you'll notice is that TouchFlow 3D 2.5 build 1920 doesn't work at all in landscape because it's not intended for a device that can have a landscape uh, display when you slide out the keyboard. So things kind of get really weird when you slide out the keyboard and go into landscape. So let's go back and take a look at what else is new in this, in this build. Something else that's new, and it's kind of subtle, it's not that big of a deal, is the splash screen for Opera Browser. It now has HTC's new slogan, Quietly Brilliant. And the splash screen, when you turn on the device, also says this too, instead of HTC Innovation, uh, or what it was previously. So we can get out of this. If we go into weather, uh, typically they give you seven different locations by default. But the problem with the seven locations is that in order to delete them, you have to go through one at a time, and you have to flick through and go to menu, remove, menu, remove. But now there's a quicker and easier way to do this. So if we go to menu, and we go to remove location, we can actually just check off all the ones that we don't want in one swoop so that we don't have to go one by one and remove the locations. So now we only have three. Um, keeps things a little bit cleaner. Of course, we have the new Twitter client, which hasn't changed much since, since build 1919 uh, that we saw you in the previous video. It works very well. If we go into settings, there's a lot of things that have gone much deeper than we saw before. Uh, for example, if we go into sound and display, we can dial down very nicely into the notification sounds for all of the different notifications uh, that your device may have. So new email message. We can turn it on or turn it off. We can tap on the item to the left and actually determine which specific sounds you want for that sound, uh, for that alert. So we can tap on this. We can turn on the vibration. Click done. And you can do that for all of these things. Miss call, voicemail, new SMS, or reminder. Also, you may have noticed back here new is pocket mode. Increase ring volume when in pocket or in bag. That's really cool. I'm not sure how the device knows that it's in your pocket. Uh, also, this is new. Uh, this is a feature that we knew was coming to the HD2. Quiet ring on pickup. So when the phone rings and you pick up the device and it senses movement, it will quiet the ringer because the idea is that you already know that someone is calling. The ringer should kind of get a little bit quieter so that you don't disturb people around you. And the other things around here are sort of, uh, sort of basic. Uh, over here in data services, we have a one screen management of all of your social networks so we can log into Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube all from this one screen. Also kind of interesting, if we go into wireless control, which will show you the connection manager, we now have a button for mobile Wi-Fi router. So if you tap on this button, um, it will start broadcasting a signal, kind of like the Verizon MiFi or the Sprint MiFi, so that you're taking your HSDPA connection and beaming it out to laptops or netbooks or um, a computer around you to have that Wi-Fi connection. And there are some settings with this. I haven't actually gotten it to work yet, um, but it says it's running. And if you click on the help button, it'll kind of explain exactly how this works. Uh, a Wi-Fi router program like this was released on XD developers for all devices, but they've spruced it up nicely for this particular version of TouchFlow 3D. So I'm going to click OK and stop the Wi-Fi router from going. And finally, there's one more change that we've noticed in this version of TouchFlow 3D 2.5 uh, build 1920. If we go into the File Explorer, the scroll bars have gotten a lot thinner. So if we go to a really long screen like Windows, you don't get that really thick scroll bar that you get in Windows Mobile 6.5 um, that takes up a lot of screen space. 
So here we have a much, much thinner version of the scroll bar. It's not as easier to grab, but uh, the HTC HD2 will have a lot of integration with touch. So it really won't matter that you have to, you know, get out your stylus and position it on the... Um, on the tiny little scroll bar. It's just sort of an indicator of where you are in a long list. So that was a quick look at TouchFlow 3D 2.5 build 1920. A lot of new incremental changes that makes uh, TouchFlow 3D go even deeper than it was before. And we keep seeing it go deeper and deeper. Although there are times when you get into the Windows mobile interface kind of in a jarring way. For example, if we go to keyboard sliding sound, we are taken into the Windows mobile interface and it's kind of a, a big disconnect to go from the nice elegance of TouchFlow 3D to the ugly look. Also new in this ROM, one final thing, we can't actually get it to work, but if you click on car kit mode, you can see the Navi panel starts to load. And that is sort of that full screen, beautiful navigation display that you can have on the HD2 uh, with the optional car kit. So hopefully future ROMs will be able to show that off so we can show it on video on our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash pocketnowvideo for the latest in Windows Mobile videos. That's it for now.